Hey Virgo, this is going to be your general love reading for July 2022 and it's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. It is a general reading so do keep in mind that it's not going to resonate for everybody's situation and that is okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box below this video. And do keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on with you in July 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in a love connection. For the situation, we have the Seven of Wands crossed by the Two of Wands. Okay. So there's a block here. Um, it almost feels like it's, it might not even be a bad thing. If this is you, I feel like, you know, you're just really trying to protect yourself. You're putting up um, a barrier between you and another person here in order to create some kind of boundaries. And yeah, you're just holding back. I feel like you're just kind of waiting to see what might follow. Let's see. And again, this could be the other person, all right? Worlds can be reversed. We have death for you, um, the King of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. Okay, so there's either some kind of an ending or some kind of a transformation that you have been going through. Um, you still have feelings for this person, you still have love for this person, but I feel like there might be some kind of an ending here that may have taken place, and it's like that ending, whether you realize it or not, it's actually leading to more emotional stability for you. Even if you still have feelings for this person, it's like it's pushing you forward in some kind of a direction that's going to be for your benefit. Let's see for them, we have the Eight of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Okay, I'm getting that for a lot of you. This person might be um, feeling trapped in some kind of a commitment, possibly a marriage. Um, it doesn't have to be that. I'm just getting that for some of you. It's definitely going to be that. But either way, overall, this person is kind of stuck in their head. It's like there's a lot of... How do I say this? It's like perceived, perceived barriers in their minds for this connection, even though they do want this. They do want you. It's like you're on their mind, but there's a lot of scenarios playing out in their minds that are negative. Okay, but it's just in their minds. All right, let's see. Potential outcome, we have the magician. Okay, so something is happening here. Something is being manifested. I feel like somebody is really beginning to find their power and bring about what it is that they want. So let's clarify and see what exactly is happening here. Let's see that seven of wands with the two of wands. Seven of Wands and the Two of Wands, please. What is going on here? All right, we have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, and Temperance. Okay, so just to call out a couple of the signs that I'm seeing here, I'm seeing Aries, um, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. All right, of course, you could be dealing with any sign, though. Okay, so somebody's really wanting this reconnection here um, with this Ace of Wands. Somebody's feeling a lot of passion, a lot of sexual energy. It even feels like for some of you, there may have already been some kind of a connection here on, on a passionate level. Like somebody may have already um, come in, but it feels like either you rejected this or you are rejecting this or if it already happened, it's like you're like, okay, you know what? No more. No more of that. No more of that. I'm going to protect myself. I'm setting my boundaries and I'm just going to wait. Again, with temperance being here, as I said before, with the two of wands, I feel like you're just like, you know what? I'm just going to back off, set my boundaries and 
just be patient. And when I say patient, it doesn't necessarily mean being patient with the other person. It's like it's being patient overall, being patient with your own self and not rushing into anything, not rushing to make any decisions. Just allowing things to be and finding your own balance here. Okay, so let's see death, which is in your energy. The Hermit, okay, which is your element, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, it really feels like you're putting an end to either communication or any kind of a contact or interaction that you feel is not serving you. So I feel like you're you're pulling away from this. You're pulling away from this. You're pulling away from communicating, from interacting. And I feel like, yeah, you know, this is actually going to be good for you. Let's see the King of Cups. The Ace of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this is actually going to empower you. This is going to help you to really find your own self and to feel empowered, to feel respected. And most of all, this isn't just about being respected by the other person. This is about having your own sense of self-respect and integrity. So I feel like it's opening up like this new path for you when it comes to how you feel about yourself and how you feel emotionally. It's like you're really finding that stability here on an emotional level. Let's see the Knight of Swords. The Four of Swords and the Eight of Cups. Yeah, there you are, you're walking away from this. You're walking away from this. You're moving actually very, very quickly away from this and that's leading you to some kind of healing here because I feel like there was something in this um, situation that was either very triggering to you or you just know that it wasn't good for you. Like there was something that was unhealthy about it and so you're just letting it go for now. You're, and if, if it's not like a 100% ending, you're just deciding to not interact with this person for now until you know you feel like there's this either sense of respect or that something is different than it was before so let's see what's going on with them let's see this eight of swords one sec a couple cards flipped over all right eight of swords for the other person please The King of Cups and the Two of Swords. Yeah, see, so they have this King of Cups as well. They're feeling this love for you. Um, emotionally, though, they're not stable. They're not stable. I feel like this person is actually finding themselves in some kind of a dilemma, some kind of... I don't know, it's like a stagnation also, like a dilemma that they're not doing anything about even though they have these very deep feelings for you because there's something here going on in their headspace, as I said before, where it's like they're just having all of these negative thoughts about everything, like what could happen. Like it's just coming through as a lot of negativity or um, like, like a rejecting, not rejecting you, but rejecting their own desires, rejecting, you know, this, their own beliefs and ideas of what they want or what they could have. Almost like feeling like there is no way to resolve this or there is no way around it or there is no way for me to have what I want. That's what it's coming in as or that's the energy that they have been in, which could explain why, um, you know, if you were interacting, why it felt off to you. Now, obviously, for some of you, you may not have been interacting. So just take the messages as they resonate. This could be on an energetic level. Let's see the Four of Wands. The Page of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Yep, 
if they're in another commitment, as I said before, okay, um, they're not feeling very good about that. Um, there's a lot of just feeling like either something is missing from that, from that life, or there's just a lot of sadness attached to that. Um, I also see that this person is having a lot of um, feeling sad, feeling like you are missing from their life. Like this Four of Wands, it's missing. And it's like they want it. That's the thing. This Page of Wands, like, like they have this desire. They have this eagerness for it. But again, it's like they feel like there's a loss here or that maybe for some of them that they would have to lose something else in order to have you in their life. Now that something else could be anything. It doesn't have to be another commitment. It can definitely be, you know, their sense of independence or, you know, um, work maybe, whatever. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles. The Six of Swords and Strength. Okay, so they are moving towards wanting to resolve this, even though they're feeling really, really stuck at the moment. I feel like I said, like that this ending, right, that you have initiated here, if you initiated it, um, or these boundaries that you are setting, Right, it's creating a huge sense of loss for them, almost like, you know, maybe they had taken you for granted, for example, and it's like now you're just not there. They're picking up on that. And so they're wanting to move things towards some kind of a resolution, finding some kind of a solution to this, um, not wanting things to be as negative, or at least in their thoughts, especially concerning you. So it is hard though, okay? That's what I'm getting with strength is that it does take strength, which is telling me that this is something difficult for this person and possibly they might need to put their ego aside. So for a lot of them, it could be also that their ego and pride was in the way. And it does feel like they're moving in that direction here. All right, so we also have Leo that's showing up here with... Um, with strength. Let's see the magician for the potential outcome. The three of swords, the empress, and the four of pentacles. I do feel like this person is actually going to go through a little bit of a heartbreak here um, before doing anything else substantial. There is some empowerment, yes. There is some figuring out, as I said, moving towards, okay, you know what, maybe I can make this happen. Maybe I can get what I want. Maybe I can have what fulfills me emotionally. But I feel like there's going to have to be some pain before that actually manifests. And what it is that they want, obviously, here is you, right, showing up as this empress. I just feel like because there's some stubbornness on their end, it's like, yeah, it's they're going to have to go through a little bit of pain first. But ultimately, all of this is happening, first and foremost, for you to find your own emotional stability and then for them to be able to step into their power and go after what it is that they want. All right, Virgo, let's see. If this resonated, please give me a like and let's get the final oracle message for you. And we have shadow work. Yeah, and I feel like that's really what's happening here. Um, by this ending, I feel like you're doing your work um, and that's what's leading you to your emotional stability and your own sense of self-respect. And ultimately, this is also forcing the, the other person um, to also do their own work. All right, and if it's not forcing them, it's definitely encouraging them. So Virgo, that is it. Those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.